The Messerschmitt Me 262, Germany's pioneering jet fighter, was originally designed for day operations. However, the dire circumstances of World War II necessitated its adaptation as a night fighter. The relentless Allied bombing campaigns created an urgent need for effective nocturnal defense. With its superior speed and advanced technology, the Me-262 had the potential to intercept enemy bombers under the cover of darkness. Engineers modified the aircraft to include radar systems and additional seating for a radar operator, transforming it into a formidable night fighter. This adaptation aims to counter the Allied advantage and protect critical German infrastructure during nighttime raids. Although the Me-262 was not challenging for experienced pilots, it had unique characteristics that made training difficult for beginners with limited flight time on piston aircraft. The 262nd test team in Lechfeld focused on developing new technology. It became clear that training would be easier with a two-seat aircraft, prompting Messerschmitt to develop the Me-262 Volts 1A variant. In November 1944, this new aircraft was delivered to a reserve group and former 262nd test team of JG-2. The Me-262 Volts 1 differed from the conventional aircraft by having a second pilot's seat, instead of the rear main tank, requiring Viking airship pylons for two 300-liter tanks. The management became dual, and the cannon armament was retained. A total of 15 such aircraft were delivered, and subsequent ones were converted into two seat night interceptors, designated Me 262 B 1 AU 1. The potential of the Me 262 as a night interceptor was demonstrated in tests at Reachlin in October 1944 by Colonel Hajo Hermann and Lieutenant Behrens on a Me 262 A 1A equipped with deer antlers antennas from the Liechtenstein locator SN 2 FUG 220. After successful tests, it was decided to convert the Me 262 B1A into a temporary night fighter, adding the FUG 218 Neptune locator and the FUG 350 ZC Naxos direction finder. Before the Me 262 B1A U1 appeared, an experimental night fighter unit formed under Major Gerhard Stamp used conventional Me 262 A1A aircraft with wild boar tactics. Known initially as Team Stamp, it was later renamed the Welter Team under Lieutenant Kurt Welter. In February to March 1945, the team received the first two Me 262 B1A U1 aircraft for Berlin defense. In April, the unit was redesignated 10th NJG 11, and remained the only night fighter unit armed with about a dozen Me 262 B1A U1 fighters. While the Me 262B1AU1 was a conversion of a training aircraft, the Me 262B2A was designed as a true night fighter, expected to enter service mid-1945. The first Me 262B2A received a locator similar to the Me 262B1AU1 and flew for the first time in March 1945. The Deer Antlers antennas reduced the maximum speed by 60 km per hour, a problem solved by the Morning Star antenna in the aircraft's nose, which increased speed by 50 km per hour. Ultimately, the FUG 240 Berlin Centimeter Range Locator, with its minimal increase in air resistance, was chosen. By the Third Reich's collapse, the Me 262B2A with the Berlin locator was in the final assembly stage. It was to retain the standard armament of four 30mm Mk 108 cannons, with plans to install two more at an angle to the horizon in the Schrage music style, allowing attacks on enemy bombers from below, targeting engines and bomb bays. The Me 262B2A night fighters, despite their advanced design and potential, were not able to join the war in a meaningful way. They were still in the final stages of development when Germany's situation became desperate. The rapid advance of Allied forces, coupled with severe resource shortages and logistical challenges, meant that these aircraft could not be produced and deployed in sufficient numbers to make a difference. 
Consequently, the ME-262B2A night fighters did not see combat, and were unable to impact the outcome of the war.